Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. Alongside my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chompy. Thanks for joining us here. And a lot riding on this one as these teams meet for game two, Chris. And the series started out like you might expect. The home side taking care of business in game one. But this game today is going to reveal a lot about what this series will become. Will it be a battle for six or seven games? Or will it be a walkover? Those are the questions that we start getting more clarity on after game two. I have a feeling it's going to be a good one, Chris. This should be fun. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, just about set to go. And starting this one, Mackenzie Ridgeway. Well, just a three-pitch mix in his arsenal, which, you know, it's not a lot for a starter, so always very important for him to have a good feel and command all three sometimes you can make that three look like four if you add a... and down on strikes he goes and that'll do it half inning complete we've got no score Our starting pitcher in this one, Tom Forbes. What's the scouting report on him? Well, expect to see the ball in play a lot with him on the mound in this one. And that Ortega on at first. Nobody out. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. There's a ball. Throw to second, and he's out. You know, when you've got cooler temperatures like this, sometimes it's a little harder to get some offense going because guys just don't want to feel the sting in their hands. They don't barrel it up. So being aggressive there, trying to get in the scoring position by stealing a bag, I get it. Sometimes you just have to try to manufacture. In this era, definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions. But I think even a little more so, there's margin for error. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Scoreless after one. And the 1 0. Liner, base hit. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did. Kicks and fires. Can't glove it cleanly. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Pitch misses in. Safe at second with a stolen base. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. No speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. The one two. Out to short. Murphy collects, but the go-ahead run comes in to score. Steven Mori. That's a base hit as a run scores. Picks himself up in RBI. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Runner at first with two away. Here's the catcher, Owen Douglas. And that one in the air center field. 
He makes the grab, and the inning is over. We go to the bottom of inning number two. The Nationals on top here, two to nothing. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. The throw into second. Oh, the tag, and he's out. And that will end the inning. We head on now to the top of the third. The Nationals with the lead in this one. Two to nothing. Collins with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Bounced up the middle. Williamson toss the second on the first double play. And that's the inning. Acrobatic play to get this one started. Determined to get a good flip. And that flip leads to an inning ending double play. That's strike one. And that one hammered. That's back. And gone. They'll circle the bases, and they inch closer. It's 2-1. to keep the hands back on that one out in front just a little bit the pitch hammer down the line could be extra bases around first and hustling for second and the tying runs at second base with a double that ball was absolutely ripped 111 off the bat and i'm pretty sure it's starting to whistle after it left the bat i think i heard that too Morgan. These are the moments we appreciate when... On the ground, right side. To the plate for one. And he'll be safe at first. Here's a 1-1. This one high in the air to left center. Lucero makes the catch, and that'll do it. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. No matter where you hit it at that speed, it's tough to make a playoff. Now, here is Ozzy Castillo. On the ground, two ball. Williamson to second, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. And the 2 On the ground. And that one finds its way through. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Here in inning number four. Line drive, base hit. And they hold the runner at third, but the bases are loaded now with one out. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Not a bad slider by any means. It's down and away, but an even better to get a double play and out of this jam. And a pitch. Ground ball could be two. Quickly to second for one. Got him. 
The double play cuts down the potential tying run. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. They try to get him into motion. And now, Stephen Mori. And he grounds one back up the middle. Dives, and he can't hang on. Oh, he throws it away. Well, you can't give him two errors on that play, but that's pretty much what it looked like. Tried to stay with it after the bobble, and he might have pulled it off with a good throw, but it's very easy to rush the throw when you don't field it cleanly. A lot of times, guys don't have a good grip on it, and I think that was the case. Yeah. Here comes the pitch. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He blasts one out to center, and they add to their lead. It's 5-1. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Carlos Lucero. Swung on, belted. That's back. Didn't quite have enough. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now 5-1. And second base. And welcome back. John Shabby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Dan Murphy. And that should be extra bases. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting. Does that one miss? Two on, one out. On the ground, the third might be two. Jones over to second. Double play as they get out of another jam. And the inning ends. We're through five. The Nationals with the advantage on the scoreboard. Five to one. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. Inning number seven. Look out! And it hit him. Well, not a whole lot behind that pitch. It's off speed. Baseman, Eddie Brady. And that one lifted in the air center field. Makes the catch inning over. It's ball one. That one ripped left field. That's back there. On the warning track and hauls it in. Wow, that one almost got out of here. I know the wind's blowing out to left, but man, that almost pushed it over the fence. I bet guys are trying to get two outs. Space is empty. So here's Murphy now. Ground ball right side. Tosses the first out with room to spare, and that's the inning.
Maybe a two ball. Five to second, and he threw it away. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Didn't look to me like he got a great handle on the ball as it came out of his hand. Cold nights, not really fun to play in, and it makes it tough to hit as well. Makes it tough to throw, and might have played a factor right there. And now the right fielder, Darren Batista. That one drilled left field. Makes the catch. Runner tags for home. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Base runner decided to test him, and it was a bad decision. Outstanding throw on a frozen rope at home. That'll end the inning with the bang. order turns over now it's going to be Johan Ortega swing and a base hit around first digging for two the throw in he's in at second with a one out double that was a thing of beauty he may have been a little behind the pitch but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Two outs and one at scoring position. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And out of here. It's his third home run of the series. And they close the gap. It's 5-3. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game. And just that gap for a second. Well, that one got the jet streak on a line drive. You saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually... a laser base hit now he'll turn for second and he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double drove that ball nicely put a great swing on it and it jumped off his back kind of put it all together there and he's rewarded with the double everyone here understands just how quickly things could change Swing and a miss, and that is that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 5-3 ball game. This to center field. Deal settles under it and out number one on the grab. Now back, second base. One down, base is empty. In the air, left field. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now back. One and one. Bounced out to short, Escobedo. To first, and he beats it, everyone's safe. Boog, he doesn't care how he does it. He just wants to get on base. And when he does, that puts him in a position to do some damage, put some pressure on the defense as well. His wheels are truly a weapon out there. So up next, Pablo Nieves. To short, could be two. Feeds to second, out there. The double play ends it right here. A little sigh of relief for the pitcher there, ending the ball game with a nice double play. You always love when you can get two for one, especially when it wraps up the ball game. Nice win for these guys today.
Here's one final look at the line score from this one, Chris. It was a close two-run game, and a couple of key moments just really made the difference. Not much separates these two teams. A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.